What up, Team Legends? I'm Matt Ogus. This is my current workout routine. Let's start with the fundamentals of Ogus PHAT, or Ogus Fat for short. First of all, guys, this program is not for beginners. Who is a beginner? Generally, people say someone who hasn't been training for at least two to three years. I'll also add it, beginner could be someone who hasn't completely milked out linear gains on a full body two to three times per week kind of program. If you have not yet done so, if you have not milked out linear gains, this program is not for you. This program will have you lifting heavy, but this is not a power lifting specific program. Your strength in the squat, deadlift, bench, and other lifts will increase most likely, but this program is not geared specifically towards raising your one rep maxes in those lifts. If that's your goal to raise your one rep maxes in those lifts, you should choose a different program. My third point is that this program is great for natural bodybuilders. Compared to a lower frequency Monday through Friday program, at least theoretically and on paper, this program or higher frequency will be greater in yielding results for the natural bodybuilder. Lastly, this program is great whether cutting or bulking or even at maintenance calories, it doesn't necessarily matter. Let's get started guys. Monday is my squat based lower body workout. Tuesday is my heavy upper body workout. Wednesday is off. Thursday is my deadlift based lower body workout. Friday push, Saturday pull. Wednesday and Sunday are off. As you can see here, I wrote yoga for Tuesday, which I like to do on Tuesday nights, and I also do my yoga on Saturday nights, both after pull workouts and usually just before an off day. Um, pretty much on every day, I try to do a little bit of foam rolling, especially for my back, my quads, my hams, uh, legs in general, and a little bit of lacrosse ball, uh, soft tissue work as well. But as you can see, yoga twice a week, five workouts a week, two rest days a week, and a little bit of foam rolling every single day if I have the time to do that. Next, let's go over which exercises I'm doing for each workout. But first, check out this new Gymshark Stringer. Pretty cool. Link in the description box if you wanna check out Gymshark's online store. Check it out. My Monday workout starts off with high bar squats. I like to alternate week to week with heavier squats and hypertrophy squats. So my heavy squat week will have three to five rep sets, three to five sets. And then my uh, lighter squat week will have three to five sets of eight to 10 reps. I simply go back and forth, um, three weeks of doing these. So I'll do heavy, light, heavy, and then a deload week with much lighter pause squats perhaps, three sets of five. Stiff leg deadlifts, currently I'm doing around eight to 10 sets of five reps per set on the stiff leg deadlift. Uh, the reason I'm doing so many damn sets is uh, I'm working my way up in weight. I started off with just 100, 135 pounds because um, you guys may have known that I had an, a hamstring injury a few months back from doing Romanian deadlifts and lunges. I, I Something just, my hamstring, switched up my hamstring exercise. I'm going to work my way back up safely and slowly. I like doing these much more than Romanian deadlifts. Uh, easier on my lower back, uh, allow myself to reset between each rep. Uh, Romanian deadlift is different from a stiff leg deadlift because stiff leg deadlift, the weight is more in front of you. You let it, you, the bar path is going to be more in front of you compared to Romanian deadlift where the bar path is basically rub it up against you the whole time. Um, you can touch the ground if you want, but you're not really resting it on the ground. Whereas the stiff leg deadlift, the bar path is more in front of you. Um, and uh, you, you pretty much begin and end the rep on the ground each time, allowing yourself to reset. Uh, that's why I like the stiff leg deadlift a bit better because uh, it's a little bit safer um, if done correctly. And I actually feel it much more in my hamstrings compared to the rainy deadlift, which I really felt in my lower back. Standing calf raise, five sets of five, that's pretty standard. Um, I've been seeing much better results on a five by five than back when I did sets of eight, 10, 12, and 15 years ago. So I really like doing the five by five, super heavy on that, totally love it. Seated single leg hamstring curl. That's one of my new favorite hamstring exercises. That paired with the SLDL just destroys my hamstrings. I feel like they're making tons of gains. Seated calf raise after that, three sets of eight. Good girls, which are basically uh, thigh, um, 
thigh ductors. The thigh ductor machine is the one where your legs are out and then you bring them in just like that. You can do like sets of 10 to 15, like two, three sets. And I can usually superset that with thigh abductors, which is the bag row machine where you take your legs and you bring them out. But I actually like to use bands for that. I'll just step on a band and then walk across the room, a circular band. And I'll just walk across the room. Hits the same muscles, I love it. Um, Generally, you know, the, the thigh adductors for the inner thigh, the bad girls, you'll notice, really gets your glutes and the outer thigh. So, that's basically my Monday squat workout. Uh, after I hit these high bar squats, which generally the, the, the rest periods for that um, and for my heavy compounds are, can be between two to five minutes, depending if it's a heavy day or a hypertrophy day. And then uh, from here on, usually the rest periods are a little bit shorter, um, especially here on. Uh, and these exercises, it's pretty easy to superset for me. So if I'm in a hurry, or uh, if if I if I'm feeling really fresh that day, feeling really good, I can superset these exercises together, just two at a time. Like for example, the uh, single leg hamstring curl with the seated calf raise, super easy to do one after the other. Uh, can allow my workout to be finished much quicker that way as well. So that's my lower body squat workout. Let's do the heavy upper body workout now. One last thing over time, I'll probably be switching these good girls and bad girls for the walking dumbbell lunge. Like I said, over time, over the next couple few months, I might eventually just take these out, throw those walking dumbbell lunges in. Tuesday, upper body workout, guys. A version and a B version. In just a moment, I'll tell you how I handle the deloads since I alternate these and I have three workouts followed by one deload workout. Which one does it fall on? I'll tell you about that in a minute. So the A workout starts off with the flat bench, the B workout with the OHP, and pretty similar rep ranges for the most part, as you can see. I got the flat bench, three to five sets of three to five, weighted chin-ups like this, weighted chin-ups overhand, five sets of three to six reps, dumbbell shoulder press, three to five sets of eight to 10, the horizontal row, and that could be uh, whatever my choice. If I'm at the gym, uh, which is the name of one of my gyms, I will do a machine horizontal row, but if I'm at a CalFit gym or a different gym, I like to do chest supported row. Uh, triceps push downs after that. Oh, and for the horizontal row, three to five sets, eight to 12. Triceps push downs, three to five sets of 10 to 15. I like that rep range at the moment. Um, I prefer to do a decline skull crushers, but I've had to ditch those for maybe three, six months. We'll see how long I'm staying away from those, but I'll be back to those in the future simply because they can wreak havoc on that elbows. So I have to stay away every once in a while from the skull crushers. Barbell curls after that, three to five sets of six to eight. And then face pulls, three sets of 12 to 15. And uh, you may have noticed this up here says abs. So, up, you know, my Tuesday upper body workout plus abs. I like to do abs at the end of the workout. I'll do anywhere between three to four sets, usually around 10 reps per set of either hanging leg raises or um, standing cable crunches, standing cable crunches like that. Um, sometimes I'll do both exercises, just one or two sets per. So the B workout, OHP, pretty much same rep scheme, three to five sets of three to five, pull downs instead of the chins, five sets of eight to 10, weighted dips, three to five sets of eight to 10, a horizontal row, like I said, with the machine or with the, uh, the chest supported um, row, three to five sets of eight to 12, Tricep push downs, three to five sets, 10 to 15. Barbell curls, same rep scheme, three to five sets of six to eight. Face pulls, same thing. And then abs, of course. So A and B, A and B. You're wondering, okay, I have three workouts followed by a deload workout. The way I, I work this out is week one. So look at like this, week one, week five, and uh, week nine. Those are the beginning of, of a month, right? So week one is gonna be uh, A, week two is gonna be B, Week three is gonna be A, and then week four is a deload. So it's like, all right, which one do I have to pick? Uh, which one's gonna be? Week four is gonna be the same one as week three. And then I start off the next cycle, week five, with B. So week five is B, week six is A, week uh, seven is B, and then week eight, which is gonna be the deload, will be B again. Week nine, A, and, and so on. So as you can see, it goes back and forth, and then the deload, is what you just last hit, or what I just last hit, for example. So, A, B, A, A, B, A, B, B. That's pretty much how I'm doing this at the moment. That's kind of how I, ha that's kind of how I handle my deloads while alternating these back and forth on a four-week uh, monthly cycle. 
When it comes to the deloads, I'll go with the lesser of the sets. So I'll do like three sets, you know, three sets of that. Uh, weighted shins, I might keep these at five sets, but I'll decrease the weight. Maybe even do sets of eight uh, with just body weight. Um, dumbbell shoulder press, I'll drop it down to three sets, drop the weight. Pretty much drop the sets and the weight of pretty much everything here. And uh, that's how I just deload. Thursday's lower body day, which is my deadlift workout. In the past, I was using a uh, alternating like five rep set with a 10 rep set kind of deadlift style. Uh, one week I do three to five reps uh, sets. The next week I was doing eight to 10 rep sets. But I want to try out the Wendler 531 progression scheme uh, with my deadlifts right now. With my current deadlift max of 515, I may or may not do a 90, 95% training max for that. But I will be trying out the 90% for three, the 85% for five, 95% for one, uh, followed by the deload with that. I'm not too sure how I want to do this, like if I'm actually going to go for 3 plus, 5 plus, 1 plus, and so on. I may try and see uh, if I could do multiple sets of the training max, 90% uh, of the training max for sets of 3, 85% of the training max for sets of 5. I don't know why I'm pointing over here, but 95% of the training max for singles, followed by the uh, week 4 deload. If you want to know more about the 531 progression scheme, just Google it up and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about after you do a little bit of reading about it. After that, front squat, three to five sets, eight to ten, standing calf. You can see from here on, it's pretty much the same as the other workout. Uh, standing calf raise, five by five, lying leg curls, three to five sets, ten to twelve. I'm glad I can finally do these lying leg curls because for a while I couldn't even do them. My uh, hamstring was just jacked up. Seated calf raises, three sets of eight. Glute kickbacks, believe it or not, for three sets of 10 to 12. I just want to do this for a couple months and see what happens. And then bad girls with the bands, two sets of 10 to 15. Friday's push day is pretty simple and straightforward with one variation of the first exercise. I'll go back and forth between doing incline bench press and the flat dumbbell bench press, each for three to five sets, eight to 10 reps. Uh, when the gym's pretty empty and the squat racks are open, I'll actually pull a bench into the squat rack to do the slightest incline possible for the incline bench press. Otherwise, I'll just use the stationary incline bench press, which has a little bit steeper angle. I prefer the smaller angle on that. Next is the pec deck, which has it's those pads like this, and you're doing a fly motion like this. But I actually like to use, just keep my fists like this, and uh, I'll just do the fly motion like this. It's becoming my favorite fly type chest exercise. Three to five sets of eight to 10. After that, machine tricep dips, plate loaded um, machine we have in the gym. It works excellent, really hits my triceps well. I'll do three to five sets of 12 to 15. Uh, side lateral raises with dumbbells after that. Three to five sets, 10 to 15. After that, more tricep exercises, triceps push downs, three to five sets of 10 to 15. In the past, like I said, I would, I would be doing uh, skull crushers most likely, but letting them heal up a little bit so I'm sticking to these pushdowns, which don't really hurt my triceps at all. After that, one arm rope extensions. And uh, to clarify, the pushdowns I'm doing, pretty much just shoulder width apart like this with the uh, cable attachment, straight bar, or maybe even an easy bar, bringing it straight down like that. After that, like I said, one arm rope extension, and I'll do that in front of the body with a rope attachment, and I'll just go like that. Really simple, two or three sets of that one. And then abs, it could be two, three, or four sets of abs, maybe one exercise, maybe two, but like I said, standing cable crunches and or uh, uh, hanging leg raises for abs. That's my push day on to the last workout day of the week, Saturday's pull day. Last but not least guys, we have Saturday's pull day. Same thing with the push day, we have an A workout in, no fuck. Saturday's workout, pull workout. I like this one because usually there's not too many people at the gym on Saturday. This has the A variation and the B variation workout. They go back and forth, same deload schedule that I told you before. A, B, A, deload A, B, A, B, deload B, and then so on, back and forth, right? A workout starts with the dumbbell row, three to five sets, eight to 12, and then the high row, two arms at once, it's basically this machine that not too many gyms have. I'm very fortunate that my gym has one. And it's kind of like a diagonal pull like this. It's not exactly a pull down. It's kind of like this diagonal high row. It's what they call it, high row. That you pull at a diagonal angle. There's really not too many other machines that replicate the same exact kind of motion that you get from this 
special machine. And on this one, you can see that I do it in the one arm variation. But anyways, horizontal row after that, three to five sets, eight to 12. That could be a chest supported row or a machine chest supported row. And usually if I'm at one gym, it's one or the other. After that dumbbell curl, really focusing on getting my pinky up, feeling a lot of the weight on the, uh, ins or the outside of my palm right here compared to the inside. When you really feel on the inside, you're getting this kind of right, this part right here of the arm. When you really feel on this side, you're really working that large head of the bicep. So that's really my, my big focus. I'm really trying to get those, those pinkies up when I'm doing these dumbbell curls, three to five sets of eight to 10 reps. After that, then I focus on the other side, rope hammer curl, three to five sets of 10 to 12 on the cable machine. I'll just do cable hammer curls like that. You might've seen an Instagram video of me doing those. And lastly, standing face pulls. And I forgot to mention the face pulls in the other workout that I told you about, those are also standing. Standing over grip with the rope. Uh, sometimes I'll vary uh, where I have the cable set. Sometimes I have it set from a little bit above my head, sometimes just a little bit below, but I'll just pull it up like this, just like this. In that rear delt, medial delt, and my uh, upper back muscles. The B workout starts with the under grip barbell row, under grip like this, under grip, bent over about 45 degrees, pulling it to my lower abs, uh, stomach area. Uh, three to five sets, eight to 12. After that, the one arm high row or the one arm diagonal row like this. Really feeling my lats when I use that. Um, compared to this one, I feel it in slightly different muscles. The horizontal row after that, oh yeah, three to five sets, 10 to 12 on the, on the high row. Uh, horizontal row, it could be one thing or another as long as it's horizontal. Usually it's a chest supported machine row that I like in my gym. Three to five sets, eight to 12. Hammer curls after that, real hammer curls with dumbbells. Sometimes pinwheel curls. Hammer curls are generally just like this, maybe alternating, but pinwheel curls are where you keep your, your it's really close to your body. So you're bringing those dumbbells up along uh, against your body right there, just sliding against your body practically. Those are pinwheel curls. Sometimes I'll do those. Other times I'll just do regular hammer curls. Three to five sets of eight to 10. Cable curls after that, cable curls for the biceps. Same concept as before, three to five sets, 10 to 12. Uh, really focusing on the actual bicep. And then finishing off with standing face pulls, three sets of 12 to 15 reps. Quite a bit of volume on some of these workouts, guys. On um, the higher volume workouts, more exercises, more sets and reps. Um, Trying to you know, keep things going pretty good. Uh, you can see that there's quite a variation. Some, some days I'll just do like three sets of everything. Some days I'll do five sets of some exercises, three sets of others. Kind of depends on how I feel that day, how I feel for that exercise, how much energy I have, uh, how my strength is, um, if I'm burning out too quickly, or uh, uh, some days you're just feeling jacked as fuck. So you just go crazy, hit five sets of everything. So uh, hopefully those are most of the workouts, but sometimes I give and take. Um, I'll do some sets more of some exercises than others. But uh, that's pretty much my workout schedule, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Sunday is the off day. And like I said, yoga on the days that I work my back. A little bit of foam rolling. Um, I try to do it every day, if possible. Some lacrosse ball, um, mobility work, lacrosse ball, massaging. A little bit of that when I can. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy it. See ya.